Hello everybody! Let's start a new tiny sketchbook today. Starting a new sketchbook always feels like starting a new art journey. It's a place for experiments and mistakes, and I know that sometimes it can be very difficult to get rid of the fear of purely blank pages, especially the first ones. By the way, this is a Kansom Mixed Media sketchbook from the Graduate series, if I'm not mistaken. And spoiler alert, the paper quality is very good in this sketchbook, I enjoyed it so much. I opened the new sketchbook randomly somewhere in the middle, to make the first sketch. That's a thing that helps me to feel, I guess, less responsibility for the result when I start a new sketchbook. <laughs> I came across a cute strawberry and daisies reference picture on Pinterest and decided to play around with this motif. I use a simple hard pencil to make a sketch and after that I will paint it with tempera. I didn't want to copy the reference exactly, I used it as some sort of overall um, inspiration. I think it will look clearer as I start filling it with color and you'll get what I mean. Lovely guys from Actual Lab uh, sent me some brushes to test and I'm going to try them in my new sketchbook. I chose three small ones, since most of my paintings here in the sketchbook will be small today. My favorite tempera brand is Masterclass, and I'm going to use it today too. I'm often asked about the tempera brand I use, so here it is. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it is accessible worldwide, but um, yeah, you can try to find it. I start by filling a bigger space using a flat brush. It turned out to be super convenient. Usually I use round brushes in my work and the convenience of the flat one was a surprise for me. <laughs> Traditionally I work with basic colors and try to mix new tints with almost every new brush stroke. And that is how one brush stroke after another I create some sort of shape and variety of tints. This video is sponsored by my Patreon. Here are some things you can find there. Color exploration posts for your inspiration, tutorials, my textured brush set for Procreate, long process videos, digital art prints, 
exclusive sketches and more. I would be happy to see in my tiny creative community. <laughs> There's no pressure, of course. Thank you so much for your attention and now let's get back to the video. For the next spread I chose this beautiful flower as a reference picture. It is a Himalayan blue poppy, uh, as I found out later, so I think you need to know it too. <laughs> this soft blue color is what attracted me most in this picture, and I wanted to mix a similar color with uh, tempera. I tend to simplify and stylize my illustrations. The sketch is almost not visible on my camera, but with first brush strokes you can see how the reference photo works um, combined with stylization. started uh, working on the next sketch, I had some wet paint left on my palette and decided to play around with the paint in some sort of watercolorish way. I'm not a watercolorist, I'm not a watercolor artist and I used to be very very long time ago, but uh, for me it is just, uh, I don't know, I just want to have fun, <laughs> that's all. I saw this whimsical laces photo and used it as an inspiration. Despite the fact it is not watercolor paper, it works pretty well with big amount of water, surprisingly for me. I didn't have a sketch, I tried to relax and trust it, my god. sketch I decided to switch materials. Uh, as an inspiration I used this Plumeria Forta. I'm not sure if I pronounce this plant uh, in the right way. This tree is very very widespread in Madeira and I love it so much. I love so much the way it looks and it is the time of its blossoming 
yeah it, it looks gorgeous but i couldn't take a photo myself because yeah i just couldn't reach <laughs> to make a photo so i used a photo from pinterest as inspiration i started with a thick red outline i decided to put it in a thick way because i want it to be visible in my you know final sketch when the sketch was ready i filled it with markers it was super fun. The last spread for today is the most playful one. At first, I used a simple black pen to create super fast random sketches. I move from one sketch to another until I fill the entire spread. As far as pencil sketch is ready, now it's time to add some color with markers. Well, several new sketches in my new sketchbook are finished. Please let me know in the comments which one you like most. Uh, it would be so nice to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment maybe. <laughs> it will help me a lot with my YouTube journey.
Thank you once more and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!